Hey guys, Pixture here, and today I'm going to be talking about some more news about Axel World vs Sword Arts Online downloadable content. So I haven't actually been making any videos recently because of exams and all that, but I haven't now finished my exams, so I should be making a lot more videos, especially now that Axel World vs Sword Online is actually coming out in the West on July the 7th, which is actually when this new DLC comes out in the Japanese version. So this DLC adds, for 2000 yen, three new playable characters, who are Alice and Yujo from the Alicization, I cannot pronounce that name to save my life, but the, whatever season 3 is going to be based on that one. And Oberon, who was the villain of the Fairy Dance arc. Now, the Fairy Dance arc was probably one of the ones people didn't really like that much, but I actually really enjoyed it and I quite liked Oberon as a character, like, he was weird, I didn't like him, but I thought he was a cool character and the way they put him in was cool. So I had a new dungeon called the Labyrinth of Infinite Change, and it's an infinite dungeon that changes randomly and it supports 16 players, so I guess the way they're going to do that is you go a floor and it just randomly generates it. But I don't see how long that can go on for before they start repeating floors and it gets a bit repetitive. But yeah, it should be quite fun. And even without purchasing the DLC, you'll be able to play part of this dungeon. Now next to be added is new PvP quests called Assault Missions. It's a PvP player versus player versus dungeon. Boss freeway battle. I'm not by clearing 10 floors, 20 floors and 30 floors in the labyrinth for change. Now even without buying the DLC, you can also play part of that because you can also play part of the labyrinth for change. Also adding two new extra missions and some side episodes called Childhood, Childhood Friend, Cavalier Knight, and Significant Beloved. And also adding rank 11 and rank 12 weapons, which is if there's anything like Lost Song, they'll probably be like the NT weapons. And hopefully they glow. And now the 2.0 update, which will be free to all users of the game. And maybe if we're lucky, I'm kind of going a bit like, it's probably not going to happen. But this could come at launch for the actual Western version, seeing as this is on the same day the Western version is released. And it'd be quite nice if the Western version launched at 2.0. So perimeter cap has been raised from level 1100 to 1200. Items set with a setup and will not disappear from the slot even if the amount of your item in your possession becomes zero. A material item shop will be added next to the smithing area. Icon display for subjugation targets during challenge quests is now the same as subjugation targets for sudden quests. In dungeons, an icon will indicate where the boss is on the map. Random perimeters have been put into time stones which are used for dual avatars. The attack power of a one-handed sword equipped as dual swords uses sub weapons now displayed in character status. Compliance of allies in the dungeon has been adjusted. The abilities place them in a new dungeon element for a change for free. And the abilities place some new PvP quests for free. And now we also have three other little DLCs, and they're 500 yen each, so they're not that expensive. And they are just individual playable characters. And they are Persona Vabel, who is their own character, and it's pretty much a fairy version of Kirikihime. Heathcliff, who is actually my favourite Sword Art Online character, so I'm, I'm really happy he's been added. And Graphite Edge, who looks like Kirito, but robot. So yeah, Axel World vs Sword Art Online is now actually out in Japan, and it launches in North America and Europe on July the 7th, which is very good as this is also when this DLC comes out, and I don't think we'll get the DLC pack at launch, maybe a few months after, but we would be nice if we got the 2.0 update out. So guys, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and a comment, and I'll see you guys in some more videos. Adios.